Hello students, thank you for joining me for another fun and exciting language arts lesson. I'm your teacher, Mr. Jackson. Now, today we'll be doing several practice activities to help us to prepare for the ability test. Be sure to have your pencils, notebooks, and brains ready as we dive right into this lesson. Now remember, the ability test will have different types of questions testing your verbal reasoning skills. But today, we will be focusing on the artificial language questions. So, we know that we'll be doing activities that relate to the artificial language questions, but how will we know that we are successful? We will know that we are successful when we can honestly do these things. You should be able to honestly say yes to these I can statements. Number one, I can explain what an artificial language is. Number two, I can analyze rules and patterns in an artificial language. Number three, I can use rules and patterns to figure out words in an artificial language. And of course, number four, I can participate in this lesson from beginning to end. So an artificial language question will require you to analyze words based on an invented language and derive rules or patterns from them. You will then have to use these rules and patterns to figure out other words in this made-up language. Let's try an example. The words in bold come from an artificial language. You are to examine the meaning of each word and then answer the question that follows. Hyphonslock means full cup. Merslock means blue cup. Rospok hyphon means landfill. So, which word could mean fill bottle? Is it slow crescion, hyphon small, small rospok, or must call it? Let's go with that again. Hyphon slock means fill cup. Merce lock means blue cup. Rospok hyphon means landfill. So, which word could mean fill bottle? Is it slow crescent, hyphon small, or is it slow rush puck, or is it merce call it? Now, to find this out, we have to break down the words in the artificial language into small parts to detect their pattern. So, in the word hyphon slock, we see that the word slock means cop. In the words merce lock, we see that the word, or the word part, slock, also means cup. So therefore, we can say safely that S-L-O-K, slock, means cup in this artificial language. But if we continue to look further, we see that there are other parts that make up this artificial language. For example, hyphon. So wherever we see the word part, hyphon, we know that it means fill, as in hyphon slock or rospon hyphon, which means landfill. So which word could mean fill bottle? Is it slow crescent, hyphon small, small rospock, or merce call it? Now, before we can move to the next question, let us examine even more closely. What would your answer be? All right, let us look at our answers again. Slow crescent, hyphon small, small rospock, and merce call it. We know then that we're looking for the word that would possibly mean fill bottle. So we're looking for the word part that would mean fill. And which word part would mean fill here? That's right, the word part hyphons. So where we see hyphon, it means that we're referring to Fill. Now, how many words in A, B, C, or D have the word parts hyphon? Ah, we only see one word, and that is option B, with the word part hyphon coming at the beginning of the word. And remember, hyphon here means fill. Is there any other word with the word part hyphon that could possibly mean fill in the option? No. What would our answer be? That's right. Our answer would be 
letter B or option B, I found smell very good. Let us continue with another question. Here are some words translated from an artificial language. Your job is to find out which word could mean cupcake. So here are the words. Play kapaki, paki hishelem, and tref talan. Hmm. As we said, it is indeed an artificial language. So play kapaki means fruit cake. Paki hishelem means cakewalk. And tref talan means butter cup. So, which word could mean cupcake? Remember, you are to ask yourselves these questions. Which word part means cup? Let us examine carefully. Remember, we're looking for the word part that would mean cup. Have you seen the word part that would mean cup? That's right. The word part that would mean cup is Alan, A-L-A-N. Now, which word part could possibly mean cake? That's right. Paki could mean cake. So, based on this question, which word could possibly mean cupcake? That's right. The word that could mean cupcake is option D. Alan, Paki, A-L-A-N-P-A-K-I. Good job, boys and girls. Now, here's another example. The question is, here are some words translated from an artificial language. So, mulokorn means blue sky, wilkospedi means bicycle race, and mulo wilko means blue bicycle. Which word could mean race car? Is it wilkoswet? Is it spedi wilko? Is it mulo bril? Or is it spedi volo? Let's examine the word parts. As you are examining the word parts, remember to ask yourselves these questions. Which word part means? And which word part means? So we're looking for the word part that would mean race in this case. Let us go back to the words that were given in, at the top of the question. So we see here that the word spady Spady actually means race. How do we know that? If we examine the word Wilco Spady, we see then that Pady represents race, while Wilcos represents bicycle. So, which word could mean race car? Is it A, Wilcos wet, Spady Wilco, which is B, Mulo Braille, which is C, or Spady Volo? which is option D. That's right. Our answer would be Spady Volo. Good job. Well, boys and girls, it's that time again to check what we have learned from the activities. Can you honestly say yes to these I can statements? I can explain what an artificial language is. I can analyze rules and patterns in an artificial language. I can use rules and patterns to figure out other words in an artificial language. And of course, can you participate in this lesson from beginning to end? If you can answer yes to all these I can statements, well, then guess what? It's time to have our, you guessed it, one minute party. Are you ready to bust out your best dance move? I'm sure you are because I am. Are you ready? Let's go. One minute party, a one minute party. A one minute party, a one minute party. Good job. May not have been a minute, but I'm sure you enjoyed it nonetheless. Well, that's all the time that we have for today's lesson. Join me next time for another fun and exciting language arts lesson. See you soon.